to facilitate someone's growth is what we call it one of the eight core competences defined by international coach federation yes to support someone in using their insights into their daily life into their daily behaviors yeah welcome to get some words around these competences about coaching there will be eight different videos around this so so when we have had insights in a coaching session when the whole session is there and there have been new thoughts and new insights what we want to do is to facilitate that the growth does, does not stop there that the insight is not the a fun moment but it translates into a an action it translates to into something that you do in your life because then change will like root itself <laughs> if we only have insights then it's a fun time that's great to get insights it feels good to get an insight oh <gasps> now i understand oh that's so great the next thing after that what we want to do is to support our clients to see their insights, to kind of integrate their insights, to notice them and to understand them. We wish for our coaches to, to state their insights, to share about them, to share what the new they're, they're seeing now. And then what we want to do is to so support them out of this insight now. What are great actions? What are great steps? How do you move from this new insight now so life changes a little bit so you do something new if you don't do anything in between coaching sessions it's not called coaching so coaching conversation is followed by action otherwise it becomes it's like fresh you know an insight is fresh and then it disappears so what we want to do is while it's fresh and open, we want to do actions that keeps it open. So, so as a coach, we want to invite our coaches to, to think about how do I now bring this into my everyday life? What am I going to do newly and try out? You can call it homework. You can call it some steps. You can call it actions. What? could be super clever to do if I had this insight how can I bring it in could be about talking about someone moving something calling someone changing something could be all kind of different things and who declare and form this is the coachee so the coach is supporting the coachee to design how will this best now be put in action so the coachee will say what they see as great steps and the coach will support in you know when will this happen how you know how many times how long what time period also talk about what would do so this will not happen what hindrance are there because it's very very super easy to forget the change so what we want to uh, like address is anything that's needed for you to support yourself, to remind yourself, to be accountable. What is needed? Anything you need to create for yourself. To tell someone or to make a list somewhere or a reminder. Of some, you know, whatever needs to happen for you to, to say one thing, form one thing and then also do it very easy not to do it what also a coach does and wants to do to be effective is to celebrate celebrate the coachee really during the whole conversation celebrate the the way the coachee is working in the during the conversation and also in the end so we want to celebrate how honest you were or you know how willing you were or 
whatever the you know what we see in you we want to lift it because to celebrate something is to bring lightness and we like lightness into the new that we're creating so celebration is a really sharp tool in leaving and completing in a joyful honorable respectful manner and we we talk about partnership we talk that about that we're partnering during the co a coaching conversation and this is really op you know opposite to for example if someone has okay now we do this now we do that now and someone is leading in coaching it's a co-creation so the the, the question often comes from the coach what would be a next good step now what should we talk about next yeah so it's a co-creation the whole the whole process of coaching it's very very exciting welcome to look at the other seven videos around coaching and coaching methodology mm -hmm.